Welcome back for another video. Today we'll be checking out the plumbing in my aquaponic system. All right, so here's my aquaponic system. I don't think I made a video on the plumbing or how the water's flowing through my system. So that's what I'll be doing today. But you can see the system. I got the fish and filters over here and all the growing space over here. So right over here is my sump tank where all the water starts from. So we got this pipe right here. There's a strainer at the bottom, which you can't see the water splash in there. It goes from here to a check valve. This is to prevent the water from going back down in, into here so that my pump over there is easy to prime. So the water goes from here, down this way, and over here to my pump, which is situated all the way over here. This is an external pump with a priming pot. So it's got a priming pot here. This priming pot is to make it easy for priming. Plus it is also to catch debris inside here. So like if, for say, if a bunch of leaves and stuff get in my sump tank and it gets sucked up into here, this will prevent it from getting into the motor and so forth. I haven't really had to clean this because I don't really get any debris in here, but there's the pump motor over there. I'm not sure what size it is because the label is all faded, but from here it goes up, it splits over here. Some of the water goes down in back into the sump tank just because the pump is too strong. That's just for more circulation. The rest goes up here. So I got these valves to basically regulate it. The rest of the water comes up here. Let me zoom out. And up over there. So this is all two inch plumbing. On all my stuff, it is all two inch plumbing. So, or some of it's inch and a half. I'll get to that though. This goes up here into multiple outputs. You got valves at the top. You got one over here too. This one was going to a tank that I had up here, which I no longer have. And then over here, you got three more. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And they all have valves to regulate how much water goes into each of these tanks over here. So I can, for example, I can section off one. Well, right now these don't have any water in, so I can basically turn it off and only have it go to the other ones. But you can see the flow going into there and then go into that one. From these tanks, so from this tank, this is the top tank, it goes to this solids lifting overflow over here. So water goes to the bottom, comes up through here and out through here. Got the same thing on that side. Then goes down over here. Right now this side is shut off, but there's a valve here so I can regulate everything. Same on this side, got valves here regulating everything. I think I have two valves here because I was gonna do something with the flow going somewhere else, but not anymore. But basically, we'll stick on this side first. So from here, it goes down. Same on these tanks, they all come down over here, over here, and then they go to all five of these tanks, including this one, so all the IBC totes, and this one all have a solid lifting overflow connected to here, so you got that, which water goes to the bottom, comes up and out through here, and down and up. And it's the same thing on this one. This one just has a bigger one and it's over there, which I showed you earlier. That one's got one there. And you can see this one on there. This pipe, which comes up into these filters over here. So I got three filters on this side. This is a radio flow filter, a moving bed bio filter, and another radio flow filter. So these are two for solids and this is for media. I would say I don't really need the media tanks just because of the amount of surface area I have and all the hydroton, so I wouldn't have that one if I would have this set up again. Otherwise, from these tanks, it goes, so from this one, it goes down here, up over there, back into this tank. This one goes down here, over here, and up into here, and then this one comes out over here. I have it disconnected right now because to have this one running at the moment, I just have this pipe going from over here because this side is shut off. That little hose just goes over here. But otherwise from there, it goes along here and out over there. And then all the water comes this way down into here and then goes underground. So it goes down here, along here and up into this primary sump tank. On all these filters, all the water does exit, so I have valves that I can exit from or drain them out. So you got a valve for this tank over here for the water to go out over there. For this one over here, I got that one. Same on all these tanks, so to drain them, it's all hooked up. Just makes it nice and easy. I can open these, drain it over here. Same with this one over here, I just connect it and I can drain some of the water because some uh, gunk settles at the bottom and this just allows me to 
flush it out. And then same with some of the gunk settles in this pipe, I can just flush it out with this thing right here. So that's pretty much on this side, goes into there. And then from there, it goes into there. And then on this side, it's the same thing. You got the pipes all going into this two inch with valves so I can shut off everything. Valves over here for draining and into this radio flow filter over here. This was for a tank that I have that up here, basically. For that one, the water went into the tank and then overflowed into here. And then from this radial flow filter, it goes down here. I can drain it out of the radial flow filter for cleaning from here. Same with these tanks at the bottom. See, everything is hooked up for me to be able to drain them easily. I can drain it out through there. And then this water goes up through here and into this tank over here. This is a moving bed biofilter. get there Let's see that same as that over there I probably wouldn't have it I would just have it for solids here's another radio flow filter and here's a another solids filter from these filters so from this tank it goes over here can't see it goes over there it splits over there goes down some water comes this way up into this tank and then out that way the other water goes down there up into this tank over here and then out over here from here I have two valves some of the water goes into this tank the rest of the water goes down there into that tank over here and same on these two tanks I can drain them out with a valve which is kind of hard to get to it's over there but that's just how it was gonna be for that setup so I'll get to where these go after I do this over here. So from this tank, another valve if I wanted to shut it off. So these are the same level. So I can shut this off and have all the water just go out that to that system over here. But otherwise from here, it goes to three different tanks over here or three different grow beds. This one's a constant height grow bed. And you got two bell siphon or flood and drain grow beds over here. Comes to different wells quite a bit of dirt over here from the plants and so forth. But you got the water comes into here, same with valves and everything, so I can shut everything off if I want. And then goes down to these bell siphons as I can show you. Same over here. You got a bell siphon right here. Got another bell siphon right there. And then this one just goes to an overflow right here. And then from all three of these tanks, they come into this primary sump tank down here so this water goes down into here this tank up here goes right down there and that one right over there you can see the siphon started on that one so it should stop soon yep just stop and then from all these tanks so from that one that system comes over here these all go over here from all here i have three two inch uh outputs so they got strainers on here i had three on here just to be safe in case all of these come at the same time and whatnot i didn't want it to overflow from here it goes into the sump tank back down into here so that's how all that recirculates pretty pretty simple or not maybe all two inch plumbing there this is all one inch plumbing so over here it goes that was inch and a half plumbing right here and then to one inch plumbing and then over here these are the last two tanks So the water from there comes along here, goes into here, and then the water goes along the bottom all the way to the, over there, I have a pump, and then it comes out over here, overflows, goes along there, and into here. This one is a little different. The water just enters over here, comes in through here, up over here, so this is an external output. I can make this into a siphon if I wanted to and then from here it just goes down into there. So that's all the plumbing. Everything starts over here, goes up to those tanks over here, comes down on this side, comes down on that side, and then it goes from most of those tanks into this tank and back into here. And then from these two tanks, it just goes straight into there. So that's pretty much the plumbing. The only other plumbing I have on here is this uh, sump pump, which is for rain. So since this is a low point, water comes into here and fills up around here. So I got the sump pump to drain out. 
goes along over here and out on the back of the greenhouse. So out over here. So also over here for the filters, the drains and all the filters. One of these is from the filters. I think it's this one. So this one comes from the filters. And if I clean it, it just goes to the apple tree down here. And that one just shoots out. And same on this side for those tanks. On the right side of the aquaponics system, the water just comes out here. For cleaning and so forth. So that's pretty much how all the water runs through the system. That sums up this video. If you do have any questions or comments about how the setup goes or if I didn't make anything clear, just leave it in the comments. I'll get to those when I can. If you did like this one, remember to check out this video up here. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.